Hey, what's up, Freaking Addicts? This is Harriet for Notes of Scent. This video is going to be a quick first impression and review of the latest Frederick Mal perfume by Jean Claude Elena, and it's called Rose and Queer, which is a French word. For in English, it is translated as leather. Managed to have a, a tester, um, not a tester, but it's a, a blotter. The guy sprayed the perfume. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It's definitely a unisex smell. At the shop, my first impression was like, okay, it's nothing special. But then when I sprayed it on my skin, it kind of have a different effect. I wanted to just clarify because on the website it says that the notes are timid pepper, bourbon, geranium, vetiver, isobutyl quinolin, and leather accord or leather note. On Fragrantica, it's a different list. The top notes are geranium, blackcurrant, and Sichuan pepper. The middle notes are rose and leather, and the base notes are cedar and vetiver. So I don't know which is which, but of course, obviously, I think I would rely more on the Frederick Mal website. I just need to verify that. An airy and transparent rose, bright and warm, gives way to the raw power of leather. Feminine, though a little manly too. Happy, but potentially dangerous. The tension of opposite helps this contemporary rose finding its momentum. This is a perfume that anyone could wear. So it's similar to Portrait of a Lady, but has a different kind of facet to it. Maybe because of the merge of a floral scent and leather, but it's it's well made. Like it's it's so it smells so refined and on my skin it's softer than it's on the blutter. This retails for 240 euros for 100 ml and 165 euros for 50 ml and then for 10 ml it's 45 euros is it worth it that's the question and to me genuinely i think it is if you have this spare cash add this to your collection it smells like i couldn't even stop smelling it like autumn season or something like winter. Imagine it rose, but like the petals are leather. That's that. It's a win. I don't really like the smell of leather, but the combination of both like rose and leather makes it like, this is very unique. It's made with finesse. It's not, it's not cloying as well. Cause I was expecting it to be cloying because of the leather, but it's not, it's just, It's a fresh scent. I think that's it really. Would I want to have it in my collection? Yes, I definitely would. I would want it to add to my collection, but I just recently made a purchase, so from a different brand, which is Keiko Mishiri. Planning to buy music for a while because it's like one of my other favorite from Frederick Mal as well. But this one is just classy and a stunning scent. Thank you so much for watching Fragrant Addicts and I hope that you enjoyed my review. I hope to see you next time. Have a lovely day. Bye.